let's look at another two-step equation type to solve. How about ones like these? So x divided by 2 plus 1 equals 3. So again, there's two things that, here's x here, so we've got to isolate x. We've got two things that we need to get rid of. Well, we're going to get rid of this thing first, this plus 1, because this has been added to this. And the opposite of adding 1 is subtracting 1, so we'll subtract 1 to both sides. And if we did that, that would cancel that out, so now we would just have x divided by 2 equals 3 minus 1, which is 2. So I have done the first step, which was to get rid of the things that were added or subtracted to x. In this case, we had a plus 1 added to x, so we got rid of that. And now the last step is to get rid of this um, coefficient of x here. So this is x divided by 2. The opposite of dividing is multiplying. So if I multiply this side by 2, I've just cancelled that out. I need to multiply this side by 2. And so... I would have x on the left side, and 2 times 2 is 4 on the right side. And so notice, kept the equal signs lined up, um, and did opposite operations to undo things. And remember to do the same operation to the other side of the equation. And now I'm done, x equals 4. Let's go back to the original question here and check the answer. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. Yes, so my answer is correct. We'll do a few more examples here so you get the hang of it. Let's do, um, we've already done x divided by 2. How about x divided by 3 minus 2 equals minus 1? Here's my x. I need to isolate that. I've got a minus 2 here, so the opposite of minusing 2 is adding 2. So let's do that to get rid of that dumb thing. Now we just have x divided by 3 equals negative 1 plus 2. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1 on the right side. So we're closer to getting x isolated. We just need to get rid of this now. x divided by 3. The opposite of dividing is multiplying. So when we multiply by 3, that's going to cancel that out. So the left side is now just x. And on the right side, 1 times 3 is 3. How about this one? A little bit trickier, this one. Negative x divided by 2 plus 2 equals minus 1. Okay, so here again, let's get rid of this thing. we got a plus 2 here. Well, minus 2 from both sides. So that would cancel that out. So now we have negative x divided by 2 is equal to, that's gone, negative 1 minus 2 more is minus 3. So now I have negative x divided by 2, so I'm going to multiply everything by 2, which will cancel that out. Multiply this side by 2. So on the left side now, we just have the negative x, because we've undone that. And on the right side, we have negative 3 times positive 2, which is negative 6. And now we have negative x equals negative 6, so Again, that's kind of like a negative 1x there in front. So to get rid of the negative, I can just divide by negative 1, both sides, of course. And so that makes this x positive, and negative divided by negative is a positive. And on the right side, a negative 6 divided by negative 1 is a positive 6. So x equals 6. And we, again, we could always check our answer. Negative 6, so x is 6. So minus 6 divided by 2 would be minus 3. And minus 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Yep. So we know our answer there is correct. Uh, let's, let's move the x around in the equation a bit. How about this? Negative 5 plus x divided by 2 equals 3. Okay, well, we've got to get rid of this thing first. Here's my x right here. So the first thing to do is get rid of these things that have been added or subtracted to x. So I have a minus 5 here. So this would be like negative 5, those white, little small little white tiles. If 
we're using our algebra tiles. So we've got negative 5. We're going to add 5 because minus 5 plus 5 is 0. That would be gone. We need to add 5 to this side. So now we have x divided by 2 equals 3 plus 5, which is 8. That's good. I've gotten rid of that. Now it's x divided by 2. So if I multiply by 2, gone, gone. Multiply this side by 2. And so at the left side, we just have x equals 8 times 2, which is 16. So x equals 16. And so by practicing lots of these, this is how you'll get, get good at doing them. Um, and they all basically become the, the same sort of procedure. Isolate x by doing the opposite. So here's my x. I need to get rid of the adding and subtracting first. So we have a minus 1 here. I'm going to add 1. So adding 1 would get rid of that. So now I just have x divided by 3 on this side. And on my left side, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. And now to isolate x, x divided by 3. So I'm going to multiply by 3. Multiply by 3. And so on the right side, I just have x equals, x equals negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. So x equals negative 3. And just one final example here. Negative 5 equals negative 2 minus x over 4. So here's our x right here. Let's get rid of the thing that's been added or subtracted first. So I've got a minus 2 here. So the opposite of minusing 2 is adding 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So that's gone. We'll add 2 here. So negative 5 plus 2, negative 3. And on the right side, this would be gone. So I'd still have the minus x divided by 4. So now I need to get rid of this 4, so x divided by 4, the opposite of dividing is multiplying, so multiplying will cancel that out. So on the right side I just have negative x equals negative 3 times 4 would be negative 12, a negative times a positive is a negative. And then finally dividing both sides by negative 1, because this is like a negative 1x, divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1. And we get x equals, a negative divided by negative is now a positive, and 12 divided by 1 is 12. So there's how we can solve for x uh, some two-step two e equations where we need to add or subtract and then multiply to get rid of the number that's been, that's been x divided by that number.